What's going on everybody? JT here coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Go and the Halloween event is about to go live in about maybe two and a half hours so we have some time to wait but instead of making you guys wait this time I'm gonna take you back in time because we got a shiny and some new Galarian Pokemon so I'll see you when you get back. What's going on people of the future? JT of the past here and I've got a shiny for you like I usually do. Sadly it's not a shiny shadow at the moment but it is a shiny Lillipup which is pretty cool and it's weather boosted and it's a pretty de decently big one. Looks pretty big but yeah pretty much all day today I've just been having like a nice little chill day where I just go out and grind and I don't record really unless something happens like this. I'm hoping for a shiny shadow because I'm going really hard on these things and still nothing yet. I mean we've gotten some good IV'd ones, no hundos obviously that would be really cool though but you know, nonetheless, it's pretty fun. Now let's see how good this Lillipup is. It's not very good at all, but that's fine. So yeah, if anything else happens today, which hopefully it'll be one of these shiny shadows that show up on the radar. I've already done that one down there. I'm currently heading to the one on top of me there. But yeah, hopefully that'll happen and hopefully I'll be able to show you something. But if not, I'll see you back in the present. So the new DLC for Sword and Shield, the Crown Tundra, was just released. And with it, in Pokemon Go, we are now seeing Galarian Farfetch's everywhere. And I was just invited to this Galarian Ponytail raid. So that's really cool. Let's beat it up real quick. This is a pure psychic type, I believe, but when it evolves into the Galarian Rapidash, it becomes a psychic and fairy type, which is really cool. And this is like very new. Like the shiny is in the code, we saw that, but I don't know if like we can actually get it now. Is it activated? I highly doubt it, but it would be cool. We got a 933. No idea if that's good or not, but let's just encounter it. This one is not shiny, but it looks so cool. I love it. I'm so happy that we got this thing. I was wondering when we were going to get them. But the other th cool thing, though, to mention, guys, is, is that we can now actually get Surfetched. And I'll show you in just a second because I made it my buddy, but it has a requirement. As well as this thing has a requirement for me to hit it. Come on. And yeah, oh my goodness. Okay, my thumb just makes keeps making it curve. Let's go, buddy. Right here. And we hit it with a nice throw we should get it i mean it is a very easy raid boss it should have been like a level one so we definitely got it perfect i'm really happy we got this thing because this went live around the time that florida's raids are over so i'm so glad we have rem remote raiding so let's just take a look at it is it good not really but you know what i don't care let's just evolve it into a galarian rapidash just to have both of them because now once i get this evolution through i can show you what the shiny looks like and and that's a cool looking shiny because I think that you can still see that glitch in the Pokedex. At least hopefully we can. We'll take a look afterwards. But there it is. Galarian Rapidash. It's cool. Big old rainbow unicorn creature thing. And as you can see, it is a psychic and fairy type. Ah, oh, man, that is so cool. I'm so glad that we were getting these things finally. I love the Galarian forms. They're so cool. Now, as I mentioned before, if we look at Ponytail here in the Pokedex, there's the Galarian form. So that's the normal shiny, and this is Galarian shiny. Cool, so they do have it in there. It's the fun glitch. I love that they do that. And since we got a Rapidash right away, we can also see it's shiny. That's nice, actually. I really like that. And it looks like it keeps the same colors when it glows. Let's just see. Yeah, no, it just keeps the same colors. Or does it? Yeah, no, actually it does change when it turns shiny. That's actually really cool. I didn't notice that before. I thought that the light-up effect was the same, kind of like um, Gigalith. Gigalith, even though it has blue gems, it still glows orange. So it's cool that this one actually does change a little bit as it glows with its unicorn glow or whatever. But yeah, very happy we have these things now. But now let's get ourselves a Surfetch. I actually have a Galarian Farfetch as my buddy right now. This is a 100% level 35. We got very lucky and found one of these. So it shows you right here though, in order to do it, you have to adventure together to evolve. And if you click down on it, we have to make 10 excellent throws. So now that I have my buddy with me and he's out and about walking, let's try to get 10 excellent throws and maybe we'll get lucky. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that was really, really easy. <laughs> Making those excellent throws are actually pretty easy on the uh, hair crosses, obviously. We have a lot of hair crosses around here, but the Galarian Farfetch themselves, as long as you throw a Nanab on them, they're not that hard to hit excellence on. But now that we've done it, let's get ourselves a 100% dex entry right here. So let's evolve it all the way into a Surfetched, which is gonna be really cool. This is a Gen 8 Pokemon. This is brand new dex entry, super exciting. Pity that we can't get the shiny right now because the shiny actually looks pretty good. He turns kind of like a golden, like rubber ducky color. I really like it, but there it is, freaking Surfetched. That is so cool. I'm so glad that we got this thing. We have Obstagoon, we have Berserker, and now we have another Gen 8 Pokemon. <sighs> I love this thing. Look at him. He's a 2815. That's a big CP. But you know what? Let's max him out all the way. Let's get him all the way to 2985. And I believe if we got best buddies with this guy, he would probably be in the 3000s, which is pretty cool. So yeah, unfortunately, he's not like really good in terms of like any purpose. Maybe in the future if he gets his uh, signature move. But for right now, in terms of fighting types, He's not better than Lucario or like Machamp or anything like that, but I'm still hyped to have it. This thing is so cool looking. 
Welcome back everybody, you made it just in time. The Halloween event has gone live, and as you can see, there's a lot of ghosts and dark types around, including this new Sableye. This one is not shiny, we don't know if it can be shiny yet, but this is one of the new costume Pokemon, and this is really cool, guys. I'm so happy that we have this thing. Hopefully it can be shiny, because I would love to get a shiny one of these, especially if it's a good one, because this is actually good for PvP. In the Great League as a Hundo, or a Shundo if you're lucky, this thing will be really good, because that's the best IVs possible for the Great League. But not only that, there's shiny Darkrai and raids, there's also the new Gengar, which I won't be able to get because it's currently 9 p.m. so unless somebody invites me I'm not seeing that and also shiny spirit tomb is in the special research but not only that in normal research as well and speaking of the special research let's begin we have to catch 30 ghost types transfer four Pokemon and catch 34 Pokemon which is pretty easy there's a lot of ghosts everywhere but not only this we also have a limited time one since we completed the mega stuff from Mega Gengar transfer 13 Pokemon catch 13 ghosts and catch 13 dark types so I don't think we're gonna complete all of these within today's video but we're gonna get a good dent in We'll see how far we can get with it because again, it is really late here Maybe there's raid stuff I'd have to worry about yada yada You know what I'm trying to say So let's just complete all this stuff and see what happens and try to get a good shiny ghost here and there There are y'all masks. I've seen a couple of those. so I'm excited about that I really hope the Sableye can be shiny and there's also some team go rocket leaders to do so Let's go hunt see what happens found myself a cliff here. Please give me the purple Wow, man, I've done so many yesterday. You have no idea. I just went through every single one of them I know that it's a 1 in 50 raid, but like we gotta get another one soon, man. I'm going close to like 75 of these guys and nothing. And now we brought down Sierra, and to be honest with you, this is probably gonna be the last leader I'm gonna be able to do for the day, so... Not wrapping it up with a shiny. Oh well, let's keep hunting. We've now completed page one of the spooky message unmasked quest. Let's claim our dust, let's claim our XP, and get our reward encounter, which is a Duskull. Could have been shiny, obviously this one is not. If it's red, you got a shiny. And also if it has sparkle shooting out of it, it's clearly shiny. And our final rewards for page one are going to be a pineapple berry, or three pineapple berries, four raspberries, and our encounter is going to be with a normal yaw mask. Not shiny, sadly. This can be shiny. Unfortunately, I have yet to get one of those. I'm really hoping to get one of those, at least one, during this event, because they only show up during Halloween, pretty much. There was a little bit of a time where they were showing up earlier this month, but I saw, like, maybe one or two of those quests. They were very rare, so hopefully we can get a silver masked yaw mask that would be so cool. Now let's move on with the quest. I'm just going to skip all this. I'm sorry, Professor Willow, but I'm sure it's amazing. And what we gotta do is catch 10 dark type Pokemon, make eight nice throws, and catch 108 Pokemon. Gee, I wonder what that's gonna be for. Surely not Spiritomb. Let's also claim our Mega Gengar reward. So we're gonna get ourselves 10 Pokeballs. We're also gonna get two encounters. The first one is with Ghastly, probably, and I'm assuming the other one's probably gonna be Ghastly as well. And the second encounter is... A Houndar. Okay, never mind. I was completely wrong, but you know, that's funny. They both have the exact same CP. The Ghastly had 510 and so does this thing. That's rare. Not that it helps me with anything, but that's actually really rare that that happens. And then we claim our final rewards. We're gonna get 50 Mega Gengar stuff. We're gonna get Ghastly Candies. We're gonna get Stardust. And now we have to make nine nice throws in a row. Good Lord. I was reading that. I was just like, wait, is that what that says? Nine nice throws in a row. Okay, well, that's easy to do, at least. Evolve four Pokemon and catch 94 Pokemon. On the upside, when you do both of these together, it kind of just works out, because we still need to catch over 94 Pokemon anyways, and we can easily get the nice throws, so yeah. This is gonna be super easy. But you know what's gonna make this even easier? Being with a good old buddy, old pal. How you doing, Ivan? Yo, yo, what's going on? This is Ivan coming to you live from the 407. Yo, what's good? Ch -ch 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 exactly. So we have three spirit tomb checks here, but one of them we're not done with yet. But we got two of them. It's to catch 18 dark or ghost types, or to do two raids. Now this one isn't shiny. You also want it to be an 888 as the hundo, so we're just gonna let that run for right now. Plus it's a dark type in the stack. And number two, it's also not shiny. You'll know when it's blue. It looks so good, and this one's even worse than the last one. But let's keep spinning. Let's try to keep getting those quests. And we're also about to move on with those other quest steps for the special and timed research. We're doing a lot right now, but we're having fun. And now we've completed page two of a spooky message unmasked. Let's just claim our balls, our XP. What do you think this uh, encounter is gonna be with? Uh, sh your mask? Maybe Galarian? No, ooh, ooh. could have been shiny. It ooh, wasn't, but it could have been. And now for the final rewards, we get ourselves some potions, some great balls, In and- In a dark cry. That would've been insane if that happens. <laughs> that would actually be really cool. Not gonna lie, that'd be pretty cool. Ooh, Spiritomb Ooh. though. Well, that makes sense. We had to make 800, or sorry, 108 catches. It was yeah. the same as last time. Yeah. This one's not shiny though. Of course it isn't, because that would just be too easy, wouldn't it? And now for page three, we must catch 40 ghost types, make nine great throws, and then catch 49 Pokemon. Cool, but 
while we do that, let's just claim these final freaking... Oh my god, there's three encounters with this one. What's number one? Another Ghastly. Okay. And then our second reward is... A Haunter. That's Ooh, actually pretty good. And with, spicy. with double candy, man, that's actually not bad at all. If that's you guys amazing. need if you guys need power-up candy, especially because there is a Mega Gengar, which I just got invited to and missed because the lobby was full. But thank you so much, Pogo Australia, for inviting me to that. I do appreciate it. I didn't miss it on purpose. I missed it because it was too full. Now let's hope that the next thing we claim here will be something cool. You know, what do you Ooh. think this is last one's gonna be? Since it was Ghastly and Hunter, please let it be that costume Gengar. That would please. be pretty sick. Please. It is! Yes, it is! Wow, okay. All right, all right. 1204. Don't know if that's good or not, but. 1204. I don't think so. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. I mean, we'll take a look at it though. It's still cool. I don't know if these can be shiny. I don't know, but we do have confirmation that the Sableye can be shiny. So that's really neat. We will be going as hard as possible for that because that's only going to be here for the week. Now let's take a look at these terrible IVs. Yeah, we'll 15 attack. Take it. You know what? Take it. And can it, ooh, it can Mega Evolve. Good. That's good. Ooh, okay. I like okay. that. That makes this thing even better. So not only is it good for just raids and stuff in general, but it can Mega. It will obviously lose all this awesome clothing, but it can Mega. Now let's see what we have to do to complete this one. Oh wait, we gotta do the final. <clears throat> we got the energies, we get more castlings. <laughs> we get the Stardust. And wow, we just claim 60 more plus another 100. Wow. Did we just finish this like right away? I feel like we just finished this right away. Probably. And it's done. Yeah, it's done. We'll do a shiny mega evolution with a Gengar later. But for now, let's continue doing this. So I just finished my first ever Mega Gengar raid, and it turned into a costume Gengar when you beat it, which is really cool. Plus we got 80 extra energy plus the hundreds and something we got. Now is it shiny? Doesn't look like it, no, and it is a 1576. I don't know what the hundo is, I'm not gonna lie, but... 16 something? Okay, so this one is really bad, but that's fine. We'll just try to catch this thing. And keep go. Wow, really? Come on, JT, you can throw better than that. Well, there we go. Is very far away, if I remember correctly. That's fair. But also, we can lucky trade these and they can mega. So I want to get a shiny one and then lucky trade it if it's not good. Because that would be so cool. Lucky. Uh, you lucky trade it to me. Uh, I have uh, a bunch of Gengar's Max. Well. Pretty sure I have the most in the world. If anybody out there has more than 45 Gengar's maxed out, let me know. There you go. Got two more Spirit Tomb quests here. Number one. Good luck, good luck. Not blue, no. or he doesn't want to know the color of the no, shiny. No, you just said blue! Oh, I'm sorry, I, he's trying to keep it a secret. Oh, what? Ooh, hello? What that was, was that? two raids. Is that your mask? Yeah, so two raids isn't for Spirit Tomb. We were told that that's what it was. Bro, get the zoom in on my face. It's okay. What? And now we've completed page three of four. Let's get our dust, let's get our XP, and our encounter is with a Litwick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I got a 413, don't think that's good, but nope. whatever. At least we got one, that's kind of cool. And then our final rewards for page three are four silver pineapps, cool. Ooh. Nine golden raspberries, wow. Okay. And our Pokemon is Galarian Yamask. Ooh. Ooh. 407 CP, no Hey, hey 407. Yeah. That's Florida's area, or Air Orlando's area code, so yes, maybe that's special, or maybe it's bad. Who knows? We'll see, but I'm happy. That's cool. I love it. Plus, we do have Runarigas in this game, so who knows? We do. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, let's see. Yeah. Ah, I mean, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Could it be better, though? But it's, what do we got to do as our buddy? Order. Win 10 raids with this thing in order what? to evolve it. What are you saying? 10 raids? That's a lot of raids. Oh well, I guess I better partner up with them and see how many raids I can get. And now we just have to claim the very final rewards here. I said I don't think I'm gonna finish it in this video. Well, I was very wrong, so hey, that's cool. Looks like we got more Yaw Mask candy, super cool. All together, 13 Yaw Mask candy and some Stardust, and it's done. And we've completed the Gengar thing too, so 
now we're just gonna go super hard for the spear tomb and hopefully a yaw mask and maybe I might get those raids. Hey, Fleece King invited me to one, in fact, so let's do that. Many hours later. I can't believe this. I am so happy right now. He's doing a live stream right now, so I can't reveal it, but obviously you can see it. I cannot believe I just got this thing. Congratulations, man. Seriously, dude. That is I, so insane. I worked so hard for this and didn't get it. So now that we actually got it, well, I mean, I still gotta catch it, but I'm sure I'm gonna get it, but this is a huge accomplishment like we we're already doing great today this makes it so much better so much better seriously hopefully we can so get the shiny good. spirit tomb just to kind of wrap this thing up but mm -hmm. like wow now watch as it's a shunda no <laughs> <laughs> that's really good that's really good but i'm happy it's a shiny that i really wanted but we only need to get one more and that's that's complete all right they're taking a pit stop but of course well during that time he got a shiny freaking dark ride first one since they've come back and it's a 2120 not bad that is 16 off the hundo which means it's not going to be amazing but we still got it and click we're also getting very close to being able to evolve our yaw mask which is also very awesome so let's take a look real quick is it good 15 attack perfectly good enough for me now i believe i've just been invited to another one by Anne. thank you so much Anne. let's do this one let's see if we get two in a row well it is almost five in the morning it is currently 4 47 in the morning and i am tired but we've been going real hard we got a couple shinies i'm happy it was a good time Ivan, always good hanging out with you, buddy, old pal. It was fun, it was fun. I mean, yeah, he, he got a few more shinies than I did. He got a dark ride, two Shuppets, and a Ghastly before mm -hmm. I met up with him, so he did really good. But I got the big thing that, again, can't tell the live stream, but there's that, and also the dark ride, which is cool. And earlier, we got another shiny in this video, as you saw, so we're doing pretty good. And we're gonna do a lot of extra stuff once I go in the house, and then we're gonna edit, and then I can sleep. And that's gonna be the fun part, so I'll see you inside. All right, guys, we're back in the house, and man, that bed looks really good over there. But before I can do that, obviously, we got to wrap this thing up. And I've got quite a few things to do. Starting off with, I have three more Spear Tomb quests. So let's just go through them real quick, see if we get this shiny, please. Not blue. Man, I really want this thing. Also, again, an 888 is the hundo, so this one is not good. But I did get a decently good one. How about number two here, please? No, oh, man. I believe it's like a 1 in 50 rate. Oh my god, that's two off the hundo. That is literally a 98% right there. Why couldn't have this been my shiny? That would have been an amazing shiny to get, but whatever. Hopefully we've caught that. In fact, let's take a look real quick. Yes, we did, and it is a 98. Love it, love it, love it. Now let's just check that last one. Do we get a shiny from our final one? No, that's fine though. I mean, we got plenty of time. We're gonna hunt like crazy. Again, when I'm with Ivan, we're gonna go absolutely nuts for this. Hopefully we can get it soon though, cause it's a really good shiny. Now, as you can see, we did pretty good when it came to Spirit Tomb. We did about, I would say over 23. I would say I have about maybe seven or eight of them in the stack. I'm holding on to them because they are both ghost and dark types, which is useful for their own quest. So it's good to stack them up for a little bit. But, you know, we've had a pretty good time in this video. I mean, I cannot complain, especially because of the Yaw Mask. I mean, we got literally a shiny one, which I am so happy about. Like, really, I was hoping to get it, and then we did get it, and I still can't believe it. We still need one more so we can get a shiny Kafrigus, but we'll get to that in time. But, speaking of which, we can evolve this one now into Runarigus because I did my 10 raids. I've been up pretty late and I've been getting a lot of remote raids, so let's get a dex entry. Let's get our Runarigus. I'm excited. This is a cool Pokemon. It's weird looking, but it's really cool. I love the fact that the Galar regionals or regional Pokemon variants actually, you know, are different. Oh, look at that. He comes out as a tablet. That is so cool. I love that. That is super awesome. And there it is, registered to the decks. Man, that is insanely cool. I really like that. Oh my god. That is probably one of the coolest animations I have seen in this game. That is so neat. Too bad this can't be shiny, but we can see the Galarian Yaw Mask shiny. So let's just take a look at that real quick. I mean, we've already shown you the Ponyta. Why not show you the Yaw Mask? It's right here. So normal, shiny, pretty good, and normal, and shiny. It gets a nice, like, teal eye. I like it, and the skin definitely gets a little bit of a bluer hue to it. And the, uh, like, the little writing goes from being red to, like, a pinkish purple. It's neat. We're not going to be able to see a shiny Runarigus unless you look it up on Google or something like that because... It's not in the game yet. 
but hopefully soon because I really like that shiny. And by hopefully soon, I mean probably next Halloween because these things are only going to show up during Halloween probably. And now last, but certainly not least, it's time to Mega Evolve a shiny Gengar for the Dex entry. So let's go right here. Let's get this thing. It looks so good. Plus, I chose the lucky one because I want to see that lucky background with it. But boom, shiny freaking Mega Gengar looks amazing. Look how good that looks. You tell me right now that that is not probably the best shiny Mega in the game, period. And with a lucky background, this thing just looks insane. God, I love this Mega so much. And the Gigantamax looks great, too, if we ever get that. But, yeah, look at the dark eyes and everything. This is so solid. I absolutely love this thing. I hope in the future I can get a Shundo of this, because, honestly, a Shundo shiny Mega Gang Gengar... <sighs> That would just be so cool. Today's positive comment shout out goes to Crystal Wolfie. Today my sister got a shiny Murkrow and she had no Pokeballs so we were all panicking to send her a gift. She eventually caught it. Well, huge congrats to your sister. I'm really glad that she actually got it in the end of the day. That would have sucked if that despawned. So I'm really happy she got it. Hopefully it has good IVs because I know that I believe Honchkrow has really good stats in general for PvP or something like that. So I do hope that that turned out to be good. But even if not, it's an amazing shiny and I'm glad she got it. And with all that being said, this is going to be the end of the video. And if you've enjoyed it, and I really hope you have, please smash that like button for me. Show me some love. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell icon so you know when I upload. And also comment down below, guys. <laughs> Tell me what you got, man. Like, this has been crazy. Did you get the new Galar Pokemon? Have you gotten the new Mega? Have you gotten any of these new Shinies? How about the costume Pokemon? Please, just let me know all of it in the comments down below. And if you really love my content and you want to help the channel grow even more, there's a link to my Patreon in the description box below. But with that being said, this is the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.